All right, so hi, how you doing today? Good, good, and yourself? I'm doing great, I'm doing great. So hey, how did our paths just cross right now? How did we meet? Um, so I was at the beach and then you asked me where, <laughs> waiting for the, if I was taking over the pitch. Yeah, yeah. And I said, yeah, because I, um, we're having a bonfire here. We're yeah, friends. and right as I said that, like your friends were coming up yes. and you guys gonna do the bonfire. Correct. Bonfire right there. My man's working <laughs> on the wood and stuff right now. Um, so what did I approach you about? What is the interview gonna be about? Um, you said mental health, mm -hmm. feet, and um, I think you said, um, Reflexology. Yes. Okay, cool. In terms of mental health, is there anything that you research and study that you know about? Honestly, no. Okay. If I'm honest with you, I just feel like your mental health is really important and you should just keep toxic people out of your life uh -huh. in order to um, be able to move forward further in life. Okay, cool. So there will be some information that maybe I can share with you that you don't know about mm -hmm. and could it be helpful to you. Um, what about reflexology? Is there I've never you... even heard of it. Never heard of mm -mm. it? Okay, so that might be some helpful information I'll give you on that too. Cool? Yes. All right, all right. So let's get into these questions. All right. So what's something that you like that other people might find to be weird? And I'm using the word weird for a reason. It doesn't have to be weird. Like, like just in general? In general, a hobby you might have, something like that. Who doesn't love shopping? Right? Okay. Traveling. So you, okay. Um, what else? Food. I love food. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I think it's just pretty much it. Okay. Everything. So you pretty as much I, like going out and yeah, doing things? Yeah, okay. I do. Cool, Adventures. Cool. Um, has anyone made you ever made you feel insecure about your body or a certain body part? Um, yes. Growing okay. up, most of the time, I would yeah. always get like clowned on by my family or my cousins. Okay. I know it's like that's how they show tough love mm -hmm. but it does take a toll on you you know sometimes Absolutely. and my mom would always be like you're gonna get fat mm -hmm. stop eating like that or like mm -hmm. stop or like she'll put me on diets yeah, and yeah, everything yeah. so it did take a toll on me but now that i'm bigger honestly like i'm just like mm, like oh. whatever about it yeah so really so basically now you're able to deal with it a lot better yes okay. i am yeah. how did you if get over it you just blocked out the noise um or? yeah pretty much you get to live with it you get to learn that people are just gonna be rude most of the time you know and it's your body so you have you ch either choose to be happy or you either choose to be sad and make them like happy because they're doing what they want with you you know facts facts like that all right um if there was one thing you could change about yourself right and it doesn't have to be physical if there's one thing you could change what would it be i think it, ha it would have to be like my weakness like okay. i always give people second chances and i wouldn't want to be Okay. I sometimes feel like people don't deserve it, and I still yeah. I'm willing to like do it. Mm -hmm. And then here I go back to being hurt or being taken back a step back, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I feel like that would be one of the things I would like to change about myself. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, how do you feel about your feet? What are your thoughts? I like my feet. There's only <laughs> I like I like my feet. I've never like really thought of anything like yeah. my feet being weird. Okay. I don't like feet like other yeah, people's yeah, yeah. feet, but mine. You like yours? Yeah, I like okay. mine. Okay. Um, have you ever received any compliments from anybody on your feet? Yes, a okay. lot of times. Men, uh, women? Men, mostly men. Okay. Women too, but mostly men. Like, it's been weird. Sometimes I've been like walking and they like, oh, yeah, I like your feet. Uh -huh. Or I've had people when I do my pedicure or anything, I post it on social media. Uh -huh. And they'd be like, oh, like, I guess they have foot fetishes. And yeah. they'd be like, I'll pay you for feet pictures. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> like, so let me ask you a question. Is there a difference in your feelings? towards between like men and women's compliments like do you feel differently when you get it um no it depends how they approach me with the compliment okay you know what I'm saying? so it's more about what the compliment like how the compliment feels and stuff like yes. that. yes okay cool cool um and the only reason why i asked that is because i interviewed someone before and she told me that a lot of times women you guys are like taught to be in like competition with each other yeah and it is true yeah you guys yeah. are kind of taught to hate on each other so yeah, when so you receive like, a compliment your toes or something like yeah, that yeah, yeah, i yeah. just really don't care i'm like whatever you know yeah yeah um, what are your thoughts on a significant other? Like, if you were dating somebody who's into feet? Um, be honest. <laughs> I honestly don't find it weird. Okay. I don't think it's weird. So I you'd mean, be okay with it? Yeah, I okay. think I would. Yeah, I wouldn't mind okay. it or anything like that. If it's that's their preference, that's their preference. Yeah. Like, me, probably, I could have a different type of preference. And yeah. Either they accept me with it or they don't. Exactly, exactly. Um, what what are your thoughts on, like, if you started dating someone, when's the appropriate time for them to bring up stuff that they're into? Um, I think everything should be done at the moment. Like, um, for me, it's like, I'm going to tell you things straight up how it is at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Like that, if I'm willing to move forward with you, I will. Mm -hmm. If not, then I'll just know what I, like, so I can know what I'm going to get myself into. Okay. Okay. So for me, it's being straight up since the beginning. Okay. Sweet. 
How often do you get pedicures? Um, every two weeks or every other week. Okay. Yeah. Um, how often do you wear like open toe shoes, sandals, flip flops? Um, like that? I can say on a daily basis. It depends on the weather too. Okay. So sometimes I'll be like, oh. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoes or I would just wear sandals. It depends where, like, how you where feeling? I wear. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, how often do you go barefoot? Uh, well, when I'm in my house. Okay. Yeah. So usually, like in the night, like, when I wake up, mm -hmm. I get some water and like that. But usually, I'm not never barefoot. Okay. Okay. All right. And so now, can we see what your feet look like up close? Oh my God. And then, if you can, <laughs> extend them out this way towards me. I'm like, can I show you one? Yeah. What? Show me. You have two, right? <laughs> show me both. I'm like here. All right. And what size do you wear? I'm a size seven. Size seven? Yes. Okay. Does it vary between like you wearing sandals, heels, things like that? Um, it's a no. I'm gonna say seven usually for everything. Okay. Well, we, unless I'm wearing like guy shoes, then I'm a size uh like you could say a four and a half, five. Okay. And can we see the bottoms? What's Maybe. on the bottom? Okay, like we could, people walk in the sand. You've been walking in the sand and stuff. I, I get people. Dirty. They look dry. Listen, I, appro I approached a lady yesterday who had been she had been grounded. Have you ever heard of that? No, what's that? So it's basically people who feel like when they're barefoot and they walk around in like grass and yes, stuff like they that. Yes, because dry because I was in the sand. So I yeah. Like so she was she was walking around and when I walked up there, but it's like there's no judging or nothing like that. So like it's all good. Like it's just. This is the whole point of the interview because it's improv. Okay, it's it's just saying. It's just saying. That's all it is. I'm gonna like, show you one. Okay, so in terms of in terms of the interview so far, how are you feeling? What are Comfortable. Your okay. I like it. Cool, cool. Yeah. Now let me ask you. Um, in terms of the mental health, let me tell you a little bit about that, right? Okay. So I got this idea from watching a guy during quarantine, mm -hmm. and I modeled my channel after his. Mine's is a little bit different. Um, but he was walking up to a lot of women and he was approaching them and he was talking about the mental health and a lot of mental health aspects were coming out, right? Mm -hmm. He talked about something called DBT. Have you ever heard of that before? DBT, no. Okay, it's dialectical behavioral therapy. Okay. So it's for people who suffer from anxiety, depression, uh, things like that. Uh, they don't live in the moment, right? Okay. So what they try to teach these people is to basically go out and put yourself in that uncomfortable situation that you're afraid of. And when you're in that situation and you feel uncomfortable to do a self-assessment and ask yourself, what's the worst that's going to happen in that situation that you're in, right? That's true. And if there's not a threat to your life or to your safety, you should proceed, right? Because by proceeding, you'll experience like good events and meet new people, things like that. So like when we're going through this right now, right, you're self-conscious because you're like, uh, my feet's dirty, things <laughs> like that. But the whole interview is designed to see if you can still be completely comfortable yeah. as we're going through it. Correct. Right? <laughs> yeah. So how do you feel about that? Is that something that you feel like you could put into practice on yeah, a daily basis? Yeah, I think I could because I'm always open to doing new things. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So okay. I don't think it would be a big time. Like, I'm just like, it's because they're, they're, they're dry. It's all good. Like, I mean, we're all human, right? Yeah, we get true. dirty, things like that. So it's, there's no judging. Um, in terms of the reflexology, right? Um, so reflexology is a study of different pressure points we have in our hands and feet. Mm -hmm. These pressure points that we have correlate back to other parts of our body. And so through massage, acupuncture, things like that, you can alleviate like stress and tension, like okay. to, to your body. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts about that? How do you feel? Like, are you, would that be something that you would like try in the future? Like if you saw a specialist or something um, like that? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to say no. There was a point, um, one time probably like two years ago right mm -hmm. i had like this big pain right here and i wouldn't go away and it wouldn't i'll would drink medication i went to a doctor and he was like oh it's stress mm -hmm. like it's stress so i went to go get a massage mm -hmm. and they massaged me from my toes mm -hmm. all the way up to my to my head from the top to the bottom mm -hmm. i'm not gonna lie to you my pain left you felt more relaxed right yeah my that pain that was burning me and just being there took off so yeah. i knew that it did help me out a lot yeah it's the whole point is is like i said those pressure points are designed because they go back to other parts of your body our body is all connected right Correct. our brains are connected to our body and then we have pressure points that are connected all over yeah. so um with that being said how ticklish are you i'm not ticklish not at all mm, um, well, on your feet no. Can we test it out? Yeah. All right. Can you, you put really your feet towards me? Feet? Huh? Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, That's okay. All right. So we're going to do right to left, and then you tell me um, which one is more ticklish, okay? Okay. So here we go. All right. One, two, three. And is it, do you feel anything? Okay. Now let me try it in a different, with a different uh, stroke to see how, if it's different, because okay. I did a little soft. So let's see, okay? All right. One, two, three. And nothing? 
Really? Okay. Let's try to look. She's not ticklish at all. I interviewed somebody yesterday and she said that um she's not ticklish because she thinks about it. Like she doesn't think about being ticklish, so she's not she's not ticklish. I'm just not ticklish. Okay, let's try it. Okay. One, two, three, and nothing? She's really not ticklish. This is crazy. Okay. <laughs> really not. <laughs> so let me get you to do a few exercises real quick with okay. your feet just to see if you feel any pain or discomfort. Okay? okay. You shouldn't. You shouldn't feel anything. Okay. Okay. All right. So here we go. First of all, uh, can you put your like soles up straight like this? Okay. Now make a fist with your feet and tell me if you feel any pain or discomfort. Anything? Okay. Relax. Okay. And now spread your toes. Tell me if there's any pain or discomfort. Anything? No. <laughs> okay. Relax. Now wiggle your toes for about 10 seconds and tell me if you feel anything. Nothing? Well, okay. like, my toes wiggling, but... Yeah, yeah. So like some people, some people get like cramps, things like that. And that could be a sign that there could be something else wrong. So that's why I always oh, do that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So now in terms of the interview, um, I'd like to get your thoughts first of all on my approach. When I walked up, was it good? Was it bad? No, it was good. You were friendly. You didn't disrespect me in a way or okay. anything like that. Cool, cool. Um, in terms of the interview from beginning to end, did it make sense? Did you learn anything new? How yeah. what were your feelings about it? Pretty much just, um, I felt good about it. I learned new things, you know, okay. um, that I didn't know about. Okay. But now I feel pretty more open, you know? Sweet. We were talking about my feet and I was a little like, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's comforting. But you I went through it. I even let you touch my feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but we went through it and, and everything's okay, right? Correct. Okay. And so the last thing I always ask everybody from a mental health standpoint, mm -hmm. a life lesson that maybe you've learned through life that you can give back to my channel and just say some, some kind words. Um, just live life to the fullest. Okay. Don't live it without regrets. You know, you're young. You're, you have like, we have a big, big future ahead of us. So Absolutely. don't think that because you're in your early 20s, mm -hmm. you have to have your life together. Sometimes you feel pressured because you see social media or anything like that, but yeah. it's okay to not be like that, you know? Absolutely. It's and all about like, keeping up with the Joneses yeah, mentality, right? Yeah, it's okay right? to not just be, to be like everyone else. Be yourself. Yeah. And live life. Take, a, take your adventures. Don't let nothing hold you back. And be happy. And remove all them toxic people that are in your life that are yeah. just holding you back and bring you down with them because at the end, they don't want to see you. Sweet. And if you have to take them away from your life, and even if it hurts, do it. Sweet. Sweet. So, well said. I like yeah. that. So, first of all, like I said, Positive. thank you so much for just like doing the interview. I appreciate it. Um, and we hope that you have a great day and enjoy your little thank your bonfire you. here with the friends. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Okay. Thank all you. Right. Too.